último capítulo vimos la entrevista de trabajo de Raúl. ¿Recuerdas cómo le fue? Pues ha conseguido el trabajo y hoy es su primer día. Es la primera vez que tiene que hablar por teléfono en inglés en un contexto laboral. Vamos a ver qué consejos le podemos dar. Ya son las 9 y aún no ha llegado. ¿Crees que le va a ir bien? Vamos a ver. Mientras escuchas la llamada, piensa en estos tres puntos. First, how do they use language to deal with a bad phone connection? Second, what language do they use to negotiate over a call? And third, how do they make suggestions during the call? Let's begin. I'm not sure where Raul is. I think I'm going to give him a ring. Hmm, no answer. I think I'll leave him a message. Hi, Raul. How are you doing? I'm just ringing to find out if everything's okay. Could you please give me a call back when you get this? Thanks. Hello. Hi, it's Raul here. I, I've just got your message. Yes, Raul, what happened? I was expecting you to be here at 9. We have that meeting at 9.30. I'm so sorry. I must apologize. I had a, um, a, a terrible accident. Could we possibly push back the meeting to 10 o'clock? Uh, Sorry, Raul, I didn't quite catch that. I think there's a problem with the connection. Oh, I said, could we possibly push back or postpone the meeting to 10 o'clock? I had a terrible accident. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Raul. I think it must be the connection. Let me just call you back. One second. Okay, Raul, can you hear me better now? Hi, Bree. Yes, I can hear you, loud and clear. Okay, great. So, yes, what's going on? I'm really sorry. I had a terrible accident. Oh, my word. Uh, what happened? I mean, not a terrible accident, a minor, but significant. Um, okay. Would it be possible at all to postpone the meeting to 10 o'clock? I can definitely be there before then. I'm afraid that's not possible. Um, this meeting is an online conference with our partner company in Australia. Sorry, Brie. There was some noise. I didn't quite, quite catch the last bit. I said the meeting is an online conference with our partner company from Australia. So it's quite difficult to change the time. Ah, okay. I understand. Perhaps I could join in the meeting shortly after it begins? Well, yes, I suppose so. Oh, and Raul, why don't you take a taxi? That way you might arrive here a little faster. Yes, I was thinking the same. Sorry again and see you shortly. Don't worry. Uh, see you soon. Hmm, I'm not so sure about this, Raul. I hope he doesn't arrive here too late. Have you ever had a call that had a bad connection? Let's take a look at some of the expressions we use when things are not quite clear over the phone. If you can't hear someone very well, you can say that you didn't catch what they were saying. Sorry, Brie. There was some noise. I didn't quite, quite catch the last bit. We use an adverb like quite to give the sense that we almost understood. For example, I didn't quite catch that. I didn't quite understand what you said there. No te he entendido bien o no del todo. Okay, you can also see from the clip lots of modal verbs like could and would used to form polite suggestions during a professional call. 
For example, could you please clarify that point a little? Would you mind saying that again? Your sound broke up for a second. Modal verbs are also great for negotiating and making suggestions. Es decir, los verbos modales los podemos usar sobre todo para negociar o proponer algo. Algo así como decir, ¿te importaría o podrías? Have a listen again. Would it be possible at all to postpone the meeting to 10 o'clock? I'm afraid that's not possible. Um, this meeting is an online conference with our partner company in Australia. Would it be possible at all gives the impression that this is a tentative question. Would it be possible to go over that point again? I'm afraid allows someone to reject a suggestion or an idea in a polite way. I'm afraid it's not possible. Being afraid is literally to do with fear or worry, but we also use it to express regret. I'm afraid not is more like me temo que no. Finally, we can use certain kinds of questions to make suggestions during a call or in face-to-face -face meetings. Perhaps I could join in the meeting shortly after it begins? Well, yes, I suppose so. Oh, and Raul, why don't you take a taxi? That way you might arrive here a little faster. Here, Raul starts by making a suggestion using a modal verb, like we saw before. Perhaps I could. The word perhaps has the same meaning as maybe, but it sounds a little bit more professional. En español diríamos tal vez o quizás. The negative question, why don't you, makes a suggestion in a slightly stronger way. It shows that the speaker thinks that this is surely the best thing to do. Now that everyone's here, why don't we begin? But watch out, because it's not appropriate with every kind of suggestion and could, in fact, sound a little bit too direct. This is because it expects the answer yes. No se recomienda usarlo para pedir cosas. If you are making more of a request, it could be a little bit rude. Ah, I think that Raul has arrived at last. Raul, that's great that you're here. Uh, we pushed back the meeting 10 minutes in the end. Oh yes, apologies again. Hey, why don't you make some coffee and we'll be ready to go. So to take away from this, la lección para sacar de esto. Don't worry too much if phone conversations go wrong as they often do. You can deal with a bad connection over the phone by explaining the situation in a very polite way. Use appropriate adverbs like quite and perhaps to make negotiating more polite. Use the right modal verbs at the right time and make sure that your suggestions are well received. Okay, that's the end of today's lesson. Si te ha gustado esta clase, suscríbete para recibirlas en tu email. Si crees que esta clase puede ayudar a otros, compártela. Déjanos un comentario con tu experiencia o preguntas. Estaremos encantados de ayudarte. See you in class. We'll see you in the next class. We start, uh, we start, we start over. We'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to go.